Oh man, T7M Radio with Seven Mitchell, and it is hot in Hell's Kitchen, and Lucius Lion is playing Master Chef. Oh my lord, season three, episode 10 of Empire. They are back, locked and loaded. Lucius Lion coming on deck in Ray of Devils. F- Lucifer fashion, you know what I'm saying? He got the Inferno album dropping. Now they started this show off with Remy Ma performing. Now Remy Ma, I I know what y'all gonna say. It's a big look for Remy. She on the return of Empire. She doing her thing. Shout out to Remy. But that still does not deny the fact that Nikki just beat Aretha Franklin's record on the billboards. Let's be clear, Remy. This is not going to do that much for you, but whatever. But I will say this. I saw Sticky Fingers also cameo and featured in this song. So I don't know. I think Sticky Fingers from Onyx is from the Bronx. So the Bronx is definitely going to take an L at night. Or the state of New York. You're definitely going to take it out. Remy and Sticky Fingers starting this one off was just crazy. But it was an unbelievable return to the show. Cookie and Lucius line, man, they was born as always. Cookie started off. She brought back Miss Walker out on stage. Lucius did, quote unquote, dead mother. That was pretty crazy. Uh, we have the cornball, Xavier. Threatened to fire Becky, giving a lot of heat to Becky until he got his corny ass fired later on in the show. I thought that was funny how he got set up. Oh, man. um, Angelo, take digs. Pillow talking with Cookie as usual. You know what I'm saying? He back in the fold. He beat his little situation that he got. Now, Jamal was in rehab. Um, and I feel sorry for Jamal, man, because they had like this little intervention situation going on at Jamal's rehab where Cookie and, and Lucius was going back and forth right in front of the, you know, the doctor and Jamal. And it was just crazy how that went down. Um, but I thought that was pretty dope how, uh, they kind of flipped it. Jamal left rehab with the white chick and, you know, it kind of let everybody thinking they was going kind of relapse, go get high, and they wound up going to the studio making some beautiful music. So I thought that was dope. Jamal definitely did his thing. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to the young lady. I don't know who that was, but she definitely was dope. Uh, but that was crazy. Um, speaking of singing and entertainment, now Vanessa and Tiana, Hakeem. I don't know why y'all keep making Hakeem looking like he's just that slick of a nigga, man. Y'all keep patting this auto-tune ass nigga in position, making him look like he that nigga, man. And he got these two girls going back and forth. Now, Vanessa had got the, the, the music showcase, um, green light and, uh, Hakeem and Tiana, they kind of, I ain't going to say, inv- well, it looked like an invasion, you know what I'm saying? But what the funny part about it is, you know, Vanessa and Tiana kind of got to a scrap, you know what I mean? So it was a girl fight that was pretty crazy, slapping it up, um, and that was wild. But um, they turned it up. I thought the song between them three was dope. Uh, uh, when I talked about Cookie and, and Lucius spawn, now Lucius... Man, I mean, where do I begin with Lucius line in this first episode? I mean, Lucius is a fucking gangster. Like, are, are we clear on that? Like, no matter how conniving and shaky we feel like Lucius line is, when it come down to him getting his business right, and when it come down to protecting his family, man, this guy holds no punches. Now, this kid, Bam Bam, who was going to apparently snitch, had something to do with the uh, Frank Gathers murder. He might have told it was going to tell the feds and turn over on Lucius Lyon. Lucius put this thing in position where though he snatched the boy mother up. They went to his job, had him sit down, painted that lovely picture to him. Now the guy's done, you know, kind of changed his story. You're not going to be testifying, apparently. So the feds case is kind of screwed up right now. The show is crazy. And like I said, Lucius dropped a bomb on Cookie. I'm um, bringing Anika in at the um towards the end. She's now the new head of A&R with um Empire. So this first episode, season three, episode ten, straight sounded furry it was crazy. I know y'all got to let me know what y'all thought about this first show. Um, hit that like button, subscribe right now to Seven Mitchell T Seven on Radio. Let me know. Drop y'all comments below. What y'all think? About this first show, it was a lot going on, but it was pretty dope. I'm glad that Empire back. Can't wait for the next episode. Make sure, again, y'all like, subscribe. Can't wait to chop it up with y'all, and we'll lock in next week. Next episode of Empire, y'all stay safe, man. It's 7 Mitchell, T7 Radio. I'm out.